Good morning, everyone. We are traveling. Uh, we didn't film the first part of the trip, or at least not much of it. We had been down to Hilton Head for, uh, I think it was about five nights. And now we have come back to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we checked into a site that we had booked, well, since quite honestly Christmas. But we're going to check out early. So we'll tell you all about that in this episode of Travels with Delaney. So we're going to be making a move here in a little bit, Patty. We are. <laughs> and honestly, we have stayed at this park in the past. So it's not that we dislike the park. I just think we got a... We got a dutter site. Uh, yeah. And again, if, oh, if, there was, if there was just another site to move to, that would solve the problem. But there's not. So... Right. I just think uh, this, the sites are a lot tighter than I remember. Yeah, I think so too. I don't remember campers being on top of campers and we are right on top of each other. Yeah, I mean, we literally have no place to hang out outside. And, and there's just, the site's just backed up to a hill, which is fine, but I think it's kind of short. For our rig, rig yeah. And we're having trouble parking the truck and there's lots of mud yeah. for some weird reason. Yeah, I think there's some sites that are better, right. but I, I also don't know that the campground's been kept up as nice as it used to be. I, yeah, you know, I think the last time we stayed going. here was probably uh, 2016, 2017. It's been a long time. Yeah, in fact, originally it was Bear Cove Village. Right. And then Very the last time we stayed private. here was their grand opening as a Jellystone. Right. Um, and you can see this is the other side where they do have I believe seasonals. Originally when we found this place years ago, we actually stayed the first few times in their cabins. And back then the cabins were nice. I don't know what they're like today. And I swear I don't remember the second pool, but maybe it was here. You can just see the landscaping and stuff. This looks like it hasn't really been taken care of as of late, so. Again, I'm sure it works for a lot of people because it's very close to Dollywood. Right over here. Yep, you could actually hear the train last night yeah, from I'm Dollywood. Sorry. But it's just, unfortunately, I guess not our style of camping anymore. Where are we going, babe? So we left the Jellystone and we're gonna try a resort we never stayed at. I've heard different things about it. We're gonna find out for ourselves. We're headed up here to Camp Margaritaville in Pigeon Forge. Uh, they had a site available. And this looks a little more like our style of camping. Now, years ago, our style was, uh, you know, a little more rustic. Here. But as we've gotten older, we I don't know if I like rustic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I was supposed to turn it up that way, but we'll see. We did fine. I don't know. We'll see. We probably we'll should have. This is check in here. It says check in. Yep. We Hi there. Yeah, doing? Good. Is this the right place to check in? All right, thank you. So we made it. We're all right. Well, already a different welcome than what we had yesterday. Really? Super, super friendly. Uh, she was worried about the site size, maybe after I told her the story. Yeah. And she offered to move us to a, a, a deluxe site. Okay. That was two feet longer, but I actually like the site we picked out, and I told her not to worry that... Um, the, the link doesn't bother us. It was the width of the site itself. Super friendly. Um, totally yeah. different, huh? Yeah, I mean, yesterday she was okay, but it was more like, you got a reservation? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> so, this this lady was super, super nice. Nice. Good. Let's see, we need to follow sign. What's our number? 51. It looks like we're going to make a right, right here. And she said, I did fine coming in. You could go either way said the sign was super small and so here we are the grass over here we back right up that's kind of why i like this it's kind of kind of like over here yeah, yeah. this will be good lots of grass lots puppies of grass for puppies and no mud yay all right we are all set up and i'm going to show you this site this is so much better so you can see we have an end site and by the way, this is their cheapest site category. 
So they have, I think, three or four site categories. And I'll show you over here is the next closest RV. And look at all this grass. So we can come out here. We can actually have a fire. The other one, we probably would have lit the RV on fire had we had a fire. So I don't know. It's so hot. I doubt we'll have a fire. But you never know. I'd like to have a fire. So, um, and you can see here, I was able to back all the way up. Because this is a shorter site. I will tell you, super friendly when we checked in here. Um, and she was concerned, but... You know what? She said as long as our landing gear was on the concrete, we were good to go. And you can see plenty of room, plenty of room to walk behind the RV and over here. So I was also able to get Starlink out, which I was not able to do at the other campground. There was just no room for it to be able to get the angle I needed. So yeah, much, much better. Tell you what, later we'll take you around and show you the whole resort. So this is up at the hotel, they call it the lodge. And this is also where the camp store is. We've got the pool, a water slide. And then I believe on the other side of the hotel is where the lazy river is. So it's separate from the pool area. We're gonna walk in here and see what's in the camp store. This is much better. This is more my jam. This is my jam, yes. Yeah. Came up, it's, uh, I think it's about 5.30. We decided to come up, it's a little bit cooler out and it's not nearly as busy as it was earlier today. So we did our grocery shopping today, come up tonight and we're gonna enjoy some relaxation. And you can see they have a nice hot tub over there too. Yeah, one of the real advantages here is the uh, pool bar and restaurant. So we're doing a flight of margaritas. We've got mango margarita, we have coconut margarita, and we have a salted watermelon. What do you think, Patty? Yummy, which where do you start? I don't know. <laughs> well, we know you like mango, although you normally like them frozen. So yeah. these are on the rock, so hopefully that's okay. Yeah. They look All right. beautiful. Let's see. Everybody right now, tell me in the comments, which one is Patty gonna like best? Is she gonna go with her traditional mango? Yep. Or will she end up liking the coconut or the salted watermelon better? We're gonna find out right now. Yep. So we're going with mango first. That's really good. That's good? Yeah. All right. That's like a dessert. All right. Not bad, huh? Not bad, any other zippy zip. Because I was thinking maybe pure coconut might be too much, you know, no pineapple or something to break it, but. That's good. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. I, don't know I got a wow. Big. So of the three, which one do you like best? I like them all. Oh, you like them all? But. But. I think the one that stands above all the others is this guy. Really? This one's really sweet. Okay. Bad thing, but it's really no. Sweet. This one, I like coconut, but I'm not a huge coconut fan. No, you're not a huge coconut fan. This one has the sweet and salt. It's not over sweet. Yeah, so it's, it's a nice. A good refresher when it's hot. All right, there we go. We got a winner. Mm -hmm. This one's number one. Now, if you're a Jimmy Buffett fan, i.e., a parrot head, there are lots of little, little Easter eggs around here. I guess you'd call them as a tribute to oh, like a hidden Mickey. the man, the myth, the legend. Uh -huh. If you weren't a Jimmy Buffett fan or a parrot head, mm -hmm. maybe you wouldn't get it though. Probably not. Yeah, because you got to know the music. But you're a parrot head, aren't you? I am. 
You know, one of the greatest things we ever did was getting to go to one of his shows. Yeah. And thank goodness we did. Mm -hmm. Still can't believe he's gone. But He was entertaining and the crowd was entertaining. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning we're just taking the kiddos for a little walk. And while we're walking around, we'll show you a little bit more of the resort. In fact, Patty wants to go check out the laundry room. So I have a feeling today's a laundry day. How'd you sleep last night, babe? Great. Yeah, it was nice this morning waking up and having some grass to take these guys out to. Well, and also I think um, not so much humidity. No, morning, the, the so. weather this morning is better than it has been yeah. humidity-wise. So, not so, like, hard to breathe humidity. And it was super quiet here last night. Mm -hmm. uh, could still hear the train a little bit at there Dollywood fireworks. and fireworks. And I popped out. If it wasn't for a bunch of trees, I could have really seen them, but I could definitely see them through the trees. Gotcha. Mm. Mm. Smells good. see here the difference in how much grass you get and this site right here really has none so just be aware when picking out sites that so yeah sidewalk and so this particular site if you were in number 123 you're basically getting concrete whereas if you were in whatever the next one up there is you get all this grass so mm -hmm. we have an excellent site yeah and they all have these cool yeah, they're stamped. Stamped in the concrete. It says RV Resort Margaritaville. Truman's blocking it. <laughs> Always got to be a photo bomber, huh? <laughs> That's okay. I think what you're paying for site-wise here with the different categories is not the actual site as much as it's the location to the pools and the restaurant. So if you don't mind walking or you can drive up, you can save a little money and in our case get a bigger site i will say if there's one area lacking here at margaritaville it's this it's this the dog, the dog park in general well number one you need a double gate so as yeah. dogs come and go they can't escape right and number two um i mean it's okay i'm glad they have an area but they need some shade in there some kind of tree yeah. or something yeah i will say the dog park at hilton head is far superior but their sign up front is super cute. They just yeah. need to work on the actual dog park maybe a little bit. Water. Yeah, water dish, maybe some obstacle course stuff. What about a fire hydrant, right, buddy? Yeah. Five dollar margarita. It's the yeah. adult right version to of the ice cream van. <laughs> How about Ready that? <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere, babe. It is. Cheers. Cheers. Careful. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Now, how'd you get these? How'd you score this? It's like the uh, adult version of the ice cream man. <laughs> You've never seen a fat man run so fast to the road. <laughs> so what's actually going on? They drive around every day. I think she said at 2.30. On a golf cart. On a golf a cart. Selling margaritas. Yeah, and they're, they're playing uh, Jimmy music and... Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, $5 margaritas, although you got the flavor of the day, so it was $6. You got the mango, because I knew it's you liked good. the mango. Mm-hmm. I Good love choice. It. I love this place. <laughs> so, Patty, what do you think of the Lazy River? I love it. It's awesome. Not bad floating by as you look at the mountains. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like tropical, but you're in the mountain. Wow, being at the Lazy River wasn't magical enough. How about food at the Ooh. Lazy River? Food and... Beverages. 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 <laughs> I love this place. Good morning, everyone. From Margaritaville here in Pigeon Forge. 7.30 this morning, and I just thought I would film a second. I just want you to hear how quiet this big campground is.
the only thing I really hear right now is a couple ACs running. That's it. And, you know, I think that's important for a campground. Honestly, during the day, it's not super loud. Well, except for when the margarita cart comes around, but who's going to be upset about that? So I just have Truman and Bess out this morning. We had a great time yesterday at the Lazy River. We ended up going up to the upper pool by the bar and having dinner. And yeah, just a great day. And I think we're going to end up just hanging out here some more because this truly is a resort like you do not need to leave. And in fact, Patty and I were talking yesterday. We now put this right up at the top with Fort Wilderness and Hilton Head National as our favorite resorts. Well, if Camp Margaritaville isn't awesome enough already, they are super pet friendly. Oh, yes, they are. They actually have a whole pet dinner menu, yeah, a little out of our price range of like $18. Yeah, it's very very posh. Yes, but <laughs> what they do have that's affordable for your pets is you can get a pup cup, which is vanilla ice cream, can't even see it, and a peanut butter bone for $2. So even Truman and Bess right actually have a license to chill right here at Margaritaville. Hey yeah. Truman, <laughs> and, oh, don't go after your sisters. You got your own right there, buddy. Could it get any better? It's good. Yeah. That is amazing.